GT Cup Championship returns to race at Donington Park this weekend for the first time in two years. Always a popular circuit with drivers, this one suits these powerful GT cars down to the ground. So get ready for some awesome supercar action from the GT Cup Championship. new group winners taking the top step of the podium proving that GT Cup racing is anything but predictable. This weekend we've got another big turnout and in addition to the familiar faces we've got several brand new cars and some returning drivers as well so let's check out some of this weekend's competitors. <laughs> With me now is Mitch Millett. Hi Mitch it's been a while since we've seen you and the Corvette in GT Cup what have you been doing? I wish we'd been doing more track time, Charlie, but in truth, we've actually been making all the necessary modifications to actually get the car back to GT Cup. We've actually had to lose a lot of power. We've dropped from our bigger 7-litre engine to our 5.7s. Um, we've currently had to change the wheels we've been using, and we're running slightly less aerodynamics as well on the car too. What would you be happy with results-wise today? Anything in top three onwards, I've got to be honest, I'd, I'd be absolutely delirious. Given where we are with the car and myself, I, th I think that'll be a real result. Well, fantastic to see you and the Corvette back in GT Cup. Good luck with the races. Thank you very much, Charlie. I'm joined here by Nick and Harry Well. Hello, welcome, guys. Now, Nick, this isn't the first time we've seen you in GT Cup, is it? No, I had a little go in 2008 and I really enjoyed it. And uh, I've been determined to come back. Got a bit credit crunched along the way. But uh, we're back now, and um, I thought it would be fun to do it with my son. And um, we picked a good car to learn in, a reliable car, and uh, a car that hopefully he'll benefit from. Yes, now, Harry, you're a bit newer to motorsport. What have you been doing until now? I started when I was 18, and I've been racing a Ginetta G20 in the, in the Challenge. Uh, and last year, we also shared a Ford Mustang. So uh, it's a bit of a step up, these Porsches. Everything happens a bit quicker. Now, how is it racing with your dad? Has he been uh, pointing you in the right direction? Uh, you know, has it been an easy relationship? <laughs> so far, yeah. yeah. It's great. I mean, he's, uh, he, yeah, he's, he's a very good driver and he, it's, it's, it's good to learn from on the data and everything like that. But it'd be, it'd be nice to meet him one day. I hope you have a fantastic couple of races. Thanks very much indeed. Well, we just caught up with Tom Andrew, who drives the Morgan Aero 08, and we just had to have a chat with you. Um, qualifying went very well, didn't it? It did, yeah. Um, somehow I managed to find myself on the front row of the grid in uh, P2. Uh, really great lap and qualifying. Got myself a bit of space and the uh, car set up was just right. So uh, it's pretty much down to the car and some uh, some new boots on it as well, really. It's going to be quite tricky off the start, I think, with the Class 1 cars behind me. But it's going to try and stay out of trouble and uh, keep ahead of the guys in my group. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Well, for the first time in two years, the GT Cup grid takes to the grid lineup here at Donington Park Circuit. And it really shows what a fantastic variety of cars we've got on the grid this weekend. On the third row, we've got a Corvette, a TVR. They're moving down onto the second row. Well, we've got our familiar Ferrari of Gary Eastwood, but a brand new Porsche 997 joining us as well. And then on the front row, well, you couldn't get a more diverse front row if you tried. We've got the Morgan, the Group 2 Morgan of Tom Andrew. He was telling us just a bit earlier what all the difference a new set of Pirelli's made to his qualifying time and starting on pole position is the Chevron GR8 of Jordan Witt. What a grid this one is. Variety of machinery and a huge number of entries with Jordan Witt on pole position, Tom Andrew alongside him. Nick Well, good to see him back in the GT Cup there in third and Gary Eastwood in fourth. Danny Wynn Stanley and Mitch Millett rounding out the top six. Wayne Gibson there in 11th, looking to go well in the group two BMW. Look for Derek Johnson in the Ferrari 430. He only drove that car for the first time this weekend in qualifying yesterday. Bertie Crothers, another very welcome returnee there, 21st on the grid. And the field rounded out by Keith Butcher. It's a rolling start as ever in the GT Cup Championship, and away we go. It's a good start from Tom Andrew, and look at Gary Eastwood trying to go through. He moves his on Tom Andrew, and he just clips Jordan Witt there, and Jordan Witt goes off into the barrier and across the circuit in the front of the traffic. 
Jordan Witt emphatically out of the race there in the Chevron as the rest of the field go through and it's Gary Eastwood who has taken lead the race with Tom Andrew in second, Nick Wells there in third, Keith Webster in fourth and then Danny Wynn Stanley in fifth as Jordan Witt gets out of the Chevron and walks away. Disappointing end to his race as the safety car comes out. Safety car comes in and it's up to Gary Eastwood to pace the field away on the restart although Tom Andrew in the Morgan is going to certainly keep him honest as we go racing once more Inco and Andy Ruin the championship leader as Mitch Millett gives him a Porsche's width not an awful lot more than that on the run down towards Redgate but I think Andy is going to find his way through here because he's got the inside line track position he may even go for a move on David Tomlin as well in the red Ferrari immediately in front of him he doesn't quite do it Andy just looking so smooth in the cockpit as Gary Eastwood is beginning to build quite a handy advantage here so Gary Eastwood driving away from Tom Andrew in second with Nick Whale there third position Keith Webster in fourth and Danny Wynn Stanley the TVR looking to make progress in fifth as well Tom Andrew looks not to get it's a group two car all those around him are group one runners and Tom Andrew he really has found Morgan six points to park circuit Danny Wynn Stanley looks to make move on the Porsche of Keith Webster as they climb up towards copies he's not quite able to do so and the longer Danny is bottled up behind Keith Webster, then look at the queue of cars waiting to be brought into contention. It's David Tomlin who's next up, then Andy Ruin, then Mitch Millett, as we ride in kind David Tomlin, who looks the inside of Danny Wynn Stanley. And is he going to go through? This is optimistic from David, but he does. Brilliant move from David Tomlin there to demote Danny Wynn Stanley. He saw the gap and just pounced. And David Tomlin, one of the drivers who just has improved throughout the course of the season, but the move is not done yet as we ride in kind Danny Wynn Stanley as Derek Johnson sides between the pair of them so Derek Johnson moving up through the order Danny Wynn Stanley onto the grass Andy Ruin is in the mix as well he now looks to take his turn to challenge Danny Wynn Stanley and Danny I think says enough's enough Andy you're not coming through I've lost two positions not going to lose any more as we have a titanic scrap raging in group two a little bit lower down the order it's Mick Wayne who is just ahead of Sean Winter Chris Bentley as Andy Yule exits stage right, minus a wheel. So Andy Yule in the Chevron GR8, gyrates out of the race. Very disappointing end for him. And it takes him what is a, an absolutely crappy battle here. Sean Winter in the red front, just had a Chris Bentley. Then we've got Michael Simmons in the BMW, Rupert Martin next up in the yellow Ferrari. Multibart racing is very, very best here as we go back to the lead of the race, or more like, more realistically, the battle for second here because it's a place gained from Nick Well or Tom Andrew and Keith Webbs does the same as well so Webster goes up into third and Tom Andrew slips back because Mitch Millett in the Corvette comes through as well so well I think there was a lot of conjecture in the paddock overnight about just how long that Morgan would be able to stand the pace right this is a replay of Andy Ruin in behind Danny Wynn Stanley as with Stanley looks the inside of David Tomlin Andy Ruin drives between the pair of them brilliant stuff from Andy Ruin and that is the mark of a driver who's leading the championship Absolutely fearless and total commitment there from Andy Ruin as we look at the Group 3 leader. That is Adam Hayes. He has a big slide as Bartley Duke and Leslie has tail. The pair of them battling for Group 3 honors and Group 3 championships. And we ride in Kai Bartley Duke as we climb the hill towards Coppice. And Hayes gets on the brakes nice and early, but he runs a little bit wider. This is going to be an opening here for Bartley Dougal as they accelerate onto the back straight. And Bartley Dougal goes through. He claims the lead of Group 3, but for how long? Because Adam Hayes is in very hot pursuit. There's also David Witt in the sister chevron to his sons jordans who is very much in the mix as well but it's bartley dougal as they come over the crest who has just about snatched away the group three lead from adam hayes but what has hayes got in his back pocket here he looks the outside as they run down towards redgate he won't gain an overtaking position there but what he might do is then sell the dummy and move to the inside and reclaim the group lead brilliant move from adam hayes there and bartley dougal just left the door wide open that was a superb dummy from adam hayes so he reclaims the group lead as Gary Eastwood continues to lead the race, though he's now got Nick Whale, Mitch Millett, and Keith Webster all in fairly close attendance, so they jink through Goddard's and accelerate out onto the start straight once more. Super see the Corvette and Mitch Millett as Eastwood has now got Nick Whale right on his tail, and Eastwood moves aside and slows down, so it's Nick Whale who moves in to lead the race. Gary Eastwood is moving aside, he's letting the leaders through, so Whale leads it now from Millett in second, Keith Webster in third, and Gary Eastwood in fourth but touring so the leading trio disappear from our view down the hill and Gary Eastwood cruises back right David Tomlin now on the tail of 
Is that Andy Ruin? It is Andy Ruin, and he looks the inside of Andy Ruin, and he goes through, or does he? Andy Ruin squeezes him through Red Cape. Brilliant driving from the pair of them. And David Tomlin just about sliding through on the inside of Andy Ruin. Very fair driving from Andy. He gave David Tomlin just enough racing room and no more. He didn't turn the door in on him. And it really shows the level of respect between the drivers in the GT Cup Championship. Although we've got somebody having a bit of a moment there. When the dust settles, we can tell you who it is. And it's Mitch Millet who's gone off. So Mitch Millet rotating out of contention there. As we're into the final stage of the race and through Goddard for the final time comes Nick Whale. So it's Nick Whale who is going to accelerate through. He takes the checkered flag and the win in the first race of the weekend here at Dointer Park. It's Keith Webster who comes home in second and Derek Johnson in third. Oh, what a emphatic seasonal debut in the GT Cup Championship there from Nick Whale. It has really been a brilliant race. So here are the results with Nick Whale taking the win from Keith Webster and Derek Johnson with David Tomlin holding on for fourth from Andy Ruin. Tom Andrew is sixth and claims group two honours from Wayne Gibson and Colin Broster. So in terms of the group results, well, in group one it was Nick Whale from Keith Webster and Derek Johnson, the same top three in the race overall. Group two, Tom Andrew from Wayne Gibson and Colin Broster. And in group three, Adam Hayes did hold off Bartley Dugan with a great podium from Robert Koenig. Well, Nick, great to see you back in the GT Cup. It's been a while, but what a fantastic comeback with a group win. Yeah, it was a real surprise, and uh, I'm delighted about it. My son Harry's here, uh, and it's a real pleasure to be racing with him, and uh, hopefully I've shown him the way to go now. Tom, where do I start? Well, congratulations for your Group 2 win. That is obviously fantastic, but you were so up there. What happened? Yeah, it was uh, had a really good start. Got a great jump on the uh, the Chevron, and uh, yeah, I was fighting with uh, Gary Eastwood in the Ferrari for the lead, and uh, felt confident of getting it, but wasn't to be. I had some problems with the car again. Same problems as you've been having on and off this season. I have, yeah, the uh, fuel pressure problems again. Frustrating, but still, let's not forget a group win, which is fantastic points as well for you in the championship battle. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with the group win. Uh, can't really ask any more than that. No, well, well done and good luck for the next race. Thank you. Congratulations, another Group 3 win for you there. It looked like an exciting battle you were having with Barkley Dougal for a while there. Yeah, it was. The uh, first lap was very, very close. And I managed to go around the outside and going through the uh, airpin, old airpin. And uh, pulled a bit of a lead on him. Um, and Barkley's experience, he, he dragged me in bit by bit. I made a mistake, he got by me. And I just decided just to relax and let my tyres recover a little bit. And it, it's all come good in the end. Excellent stuff. Well, well done. Great result for you. Well, what a great way to start the racing here at Donington Park. Congratulations to Nick Well, who took the overall win in the Porsche 997. Now we'll have to see if Harry can match up to his dad's performance in race two. Join us after the break for that.